Did you know you're supposed to maintain your furnace? Did you even know how to maintain your furnace? The good news is it's super easy to maintain your furnace. And on this video, I'm gonna show you five steps that I use on my own home to make sure my furnace is running smoothly, efficiently, and most importantly, saves me a lot of money on my utility bill. And at worst case scenario, from having to replace my furnace prematurely. So let's go inside so I can walk you through that process. So step number one is replacing the filter. The filters are something like this. You can see an old filter and a new filter. Filters should be checked monthly and replaced regularly. I replace my filter every 90 days and I have a contract with the HVAC company. So every 90 days they ship me that filter. So I know my filter is replaced every 90 days. So it's a very important step. Step number one, replace your filter. Usually your furnace is located in a basement, a crawl space, in an attic, and my special case here is located in the garage. You wanna make sure within the vicinity of the furnace, there's not flammable liquid like gasoline, paint, or even boxes or papers that could potentially cause fire in your home. Now that we're inside the house, one of the items you should look at is your vents and registers. Your vents and register should always be open, not closed. If it's closed, it can potentially cause the heating system to work harder, which in turn can cost you a higher utility bill or even worst case, to cause damage to the furnace. So make sure there's nothing blocking the vents, no furniture, no boxes. Make sure this area is open and clear. The thermostat is an important part of the heating system because this is where you control the heating to turn the temperature up or temperature down. You want to make sure the thermostat is working efficiently. And some of the things you want to check is no debris, no dust is clogging the system to stop it from overheating. There is also a battery element that you want to check to make sure the battery is working properly. All the wires are connecting accordingly. So make sure your thermostat is working efficiently so it can communicate with the furnace and you have a proper temperature in your home. We're on step number five. This is when you need an, a professional help. This is the important step of hiring a professional to do your furnace maintenance. This should be done you know, regularly every two years. Um, you might want to follow the requirement of the manufacturer, but I normally have my furnace maintained every two years. Remember, on our health, we go to the doctor for a checkup. Our cars, we take them to the mechanics to make sure the oil is changed, the tires rotated. Your furnace, again, one of the biggest um, equipment in your home need to be maintained. So you wanna hire an HVAC company to accomplish this goal. I would say contact them, schedule an appointment, and they can come out, take out all the parts, do the regular maintenance so it can prolong your, uh, the life of the furnace. As you can see, maintaining your furnace is not that complicated. Follow these five basic steps and you can make sure that your furnace is going to be working perfectly during the winter month. If you find this video informative, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, also comment below so we can communicate. Until next time, you can watch this video or this video. Thanks for watching.